All right, so I'm just up at my garage where my street twin is currently residing. And fortunately, whilst I'm doing a bit of maintenance and servicing on this bike, I've got the speed twin for a couple of weeks as a press bike. So that's a dream scenario for me because I've wanted to get a bit more time with this bike since I first did a kind of first ride review many months ago in much worse weather than this. So um, really excited to be riding this bike. And also a lot of people have been asking ever since this was launched in early 2019 whether i was going to upgrade after i'd made loads of content around my street twin and got a lot of people subscribing to the channel that also own street twins i think a lot of people are wondering firstly you know if they're researching the street twin is it worth paying more for the speed twin or if they already own the street twin is it worth upgrading so today i'm just going to talk about all the differences between the two bikes while i've got them both here and then i'll talk a little bit about my purchasing choice and whether i'd consider upgrading to this so working from the front of the bike all the way to the back we'll start with the speed twin this bike's got a 17 inch front wheel and a 17 inch rear 18 inch front on the street twin to give it a bit more of a retro aesthetic and then a 17 on the back but essentially what that means is that that 18 inch front wheel is going to be a little bit slower to turn in a bit slower handling sacrificing a bit of handling for that old school look essentially the speed twin on the other hand that's going to be quicker to turn in it's going to handle much more like a modern bike for most people really i don't know if you notice the difference especially if you're just cruising around town and taking it easy perhaps if you do more spirited riding you'll notice this in that kind of handling area as well you've got wider tires on this so a 120 at the front and a 160 at the rear whereas you've got a 100 i believe on the front here and a 150 wide at the rear this comes with pirelli phantoms as stock the street twin i've swapped those out for some bridgestones um generally i don't think people are huge fans of those pirellis despite the fact they come on the new royal enfields and the yamaha xsr most people seem to swap them out i don't think they're particularly good in the wet that's what i found as well speed twin on the other hand comes with these pirelli diablo rosso 3 which are much better spec and i think you can probably hang on to those until they're worn out they're plenty good enough for this bike also up front you've got two discs on the speed twin and they're both brembos four pot brembos and you've also got a brembo master cylinder to match as well which should give you better feel and performance in the brakes this is a big sticking area on my bike for me the brakes are just not good enough and i really appreciate them on this bike it's much much better they have tried to address it on the street twin so it was launched in 2016 this is a 2017 model lots of people not happy with the two-part nissin at the front so when they updated the street twin for 2019 uh, they upgraded the front brake and it's now a four-pot brembo still a single disc so it's not going to be as good as this doesn't have the brembo master cylinder but i believe it's much improved but you're still going to feel a big difference in terms of braking between these two bikes forks are roughly similar both 41 mil the first iteration of the street twin didn't have a cartridge fork I believe the 2019 model does, as does this bike. I actually fitted some Hagen Progressive Springs to firm mine up a little bit, and that makes it feel a bit more like the Speed Twin. Um, but yeah, there's not a great deal in the suspension. You don't have kind of fully adjustable upside down forks on this bike and Olin's piggyback shocks. They're pretty much similar. Um, the shocks are fairly similar as well. Preload adjustable, but that's about it. Moving up, you've got LED headlight. That's not present on the Street Twin. And then you've got twin clocks. So you'll find these on the Thruxton T120, T100 Street Cup. The Street Twin has a single clock with just the speedo around the outside. Uh, no rev counter on this model at all. When it was updated for 2019, it included a digital rev counter as part of the display. But this is a much more sporting setup because you want good visibility on that rev counter if you're doing quicker riding trying to keep it in that sweet spot where all the power comes on both bikes have abs of course and traction control and traction control is switchable on the speed twin you've got sport road and rain riding modes on the street twin no riding modes on this version and then when they updated it for 2019 uh, they gave it road and rain so no sport mode as such and that's really you know a theme throughout the bike this has a bit more of a sporting intent whereas this is just a bit of an all-rounder you get bar and mirrors as standard on this bike and also the bars are a little bit narrower so that might give it a slightly more sporty feel um, but there's not a great deal in it moving on to the tank 14 and a half liters on the speed twin 
12 on the street twin but with it being a 1200 motor and a 900 cc motor you're going to get slightly better fuel economy on this so the range is probably about similar i do like the monza fuel cap i've got a motone fuel cap on here which is nice as well but as standard you get this monza cap on the speed twin which is a nice touch you get that on the 1200 scrambler as well and on the thruxton sorry about that hammering by the way this happens every time i do any filming someone decides to go and you know put a fence up or something uh yes so monza fuel cap lovely moving on down to the motor 1200 cc here 900 cc here very similar quite torquey this is the high torque variant this is the high power variant um but really up to about 30 40 50 mile an hour you don't really notice a huge amount of difference where you'll notice the difference is the top end so this bike has 96 horsepower this original street twin 55 and then they made it rev a bit harder uh, for 2019 and it does 65 horsepower but yeah around town easy kind of speeds they're both quite torquey and they get up to 30 40 50 miles an hour like i say quite quickly this runs out of gas a little bit whereas this will it has a bit of a yeah mean side to it it definitely has a bit more go and and offers a lot more fun i think on twisty roads country roads a roads b roads that kind of thing this is definitely the bike of choice there are a few changes to the motor though there are magnesium cam covers you can see here to lighten it up there's also some lightened components internally as well and another thing that they've done to lighten this bike is it's actually got an aluminium cradle on the frame uh, it's not really visible because it's painted black of course but the rest of the frame steel but an aluminium cradle to keep it light whereas it's entirely steel and this was the first bonneville actually to use that lightened cradle there's not a great deal in it but this is 196 kilos dry whereas this is 198 so yeah not a massive difference but, but given that this is a bigger bike they've obviously done a few bits to lighten it up to get that weight lower this is also a six speed whereas this is a five speed gearbox and i think that really means that this feels a bit lacking on the motorway if you're ever doing that kind of riding uh, this with more power and a six speed again open roads that kind of thing definitely a much better choice of bike the seat height is a little bit higher up on this bike so this is 760 mils so for shorter riders um, really nice and low easy to flat foot either side there is a bench seat option which brings it up i think about 20 mil but really anyone who doesn't have particularly long legs is still going to find this easy to ride this is just over 800 mils so not particularly tall but it has a much more sporty feel to it the pegs are a little bit further back and higher to give you a bit more clearance um, generally as i said the bars are a little bit narrower and so you feel a bit more up and over the bike and forward actually if you look on the triumph website at the sort of geometry uh, measurements for this bike it's really similar to something like the speed triple not quite as high on the seat but um, really similar numbers and I think that's how they've got it to handle so well and then moving to the back obviously we've got different side panels here um, a bench kind of seat that comes as standard so um, it's a bit shorter and the frames looped at the back here LED lighting all round so LED brake light and then you've got these brushed aluminium mud guards whereas they're plastic i've taken mine off on this bike but uh, they come with plastic mud guards so slightly more premium finish and i think actually you'll find all around that the finish is as you'd expect for the more expensive bike um, ever so slightly better so brushed aluminium heel guards here you've got sportier pegs the headlight brackets here look a little bit better as well and you've also got a slightly better looking bar clamp and those bits and bobs like that like i said bar and mirrors for example make it look a little bit better finished and come as standard with this bike clearly if you're doing quicker riding and you want a slightly more premium version of a retro triumph then this is the choice that said you know when i got this bike it was six just over six grand i believe and it had done four thousand miles on it and there are plenty of them on the used market now because it's been out for a few years and so a lot of pcp deals have expired people have given them back to the dealers and there's plenty to shop around whereas this bike is 10,700 and it's only come out this year so anyone who's selling one second hand is probably and um, just not getting on with it and perhaps trying to get the majority of their cash back so um, really you're looking at yeah a new one of these the 2019 model for about eight grand uh, 10,700 for this or shop around and get a street twin second hand and that's why I kind of went with this because it was just the cheaper option as for whether I'll upgrade to this almost certainly not at the moment we've got our 
second baby on the way and we're moving house so i think i'm just going to keep hold of this for as long as i can and enjoy these press bikes while i get them that said if i was back to square one looking for a triumph i'd definitely be tempted to spend the extra it doesn't make sense for me to upgrade right now i've also done a bit of work on this and, and fitted a few mods and custom bits so you know i've made it my own and that would make it quite difficult to part ways with it um, but yeah if i was buying brand new from scratch it's a much better bike it really depends on your situation financially and what kind of riding you do as i said this is great up to 30 40 50 miles an hour and because most of my riding is in london i'm not really going to explore the full capabilities of this bike apart from occasionally at the weekend or when i do a trip but as i said when you've got two young kids there's not as much time for that but there's still time for commuting and this does the job great but yeah given the choice making that purchase again I'd find it very hard to resist the um, Speed Twin. I hope that's been of some use to you. If there's anything I didn't cover, let me know in the questions below. And if you're new here and you wanna see more videos like this, hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.